Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little itty bitty nail polish haul. I picked up several new launches from Believe Beauty. If you are new to Believe Beauty as a brand, they are exclusive to Dollar General stores. They don't only sell nail polishes and nail products like manicure products, they sell cosmetics as well. Anything from eyeshadows to lipsticks to foundations. So I haven't dove into that aspect of this brand yet, but the nail polishes so far, I absolutely love. The ones I'm gonna share with you are something that you guys need to pick up if you can. If you have a Dollar General near you, you definitely need to check out this brand as far as the nail polishes go because they are amazing. I'm gonna talk about one of their discontinued polishes. This is in the Gel Effect line. I got mine clearance for $1.85. This is in the color Roulette. I've had this on my list for a long time. Every store's been out of it for months and months and months. So I thought, well, I guess I'm not gonna get it. But when I went to look for the new polishes, I saw this one on clearance. It has a clearance sticker right there. And thought, okay, now's the time to go ahead and get it. So I picked it up, absolutely love this. It has gold, red, blue, green. I've got the sunlight coming in so I can really see what the glitters look like. But there's so many different glitters in here. When it's on the nail, I will say I don't think it's quite as colorful as it is in the bottle. Maybe it's just because of what I have it over top of, but it's beautiful nonetheless. It is a gorgeous color. Cannot recommend it enough. So if you see this clearance out, definitely pick it up because it's beautiful. Then all the rest of these are new ones. I will go ahead and share with you what is on my nails. One of the polishes they came out with is something called Ultra Shine. They are very high shine polishes and they're only a dollar, you guys. They're one dollar. Now the thing with the new polishes, they did downsize the, the amount of product that you get. Each item that I have is 10 milliliters instead of the old bottles, 12 milliliters, but they're like one to two dollars for most of these so i think decreasing the size and decreasing the price i think they kind of made up for it in a sense so the one that i currently have on my nails is this color in i do it is just a beautiful pale pink this is gorgeous it is this let me go over here my lighting is wonky there you go this is just a beautiful polish. The formula took about three coats. It's a milky pink, a milky polish, so it's gonna take a little bit to build this one up, but it's what I have on a couple of my nails right now. This manicure's been on for about five days right now when I'm filming this. There's no tipping, there's no tip wear, there's no peeling. These are really good. It is that one in the color I do. And then one that I saw and thought, and that's identical to the color from China Glaze that I was wanting. This is also in the Ultra Shine line. This is Golden Girl, and it is like a mustard yellow, in my opinion. It might not be quite as mustardy as the China Glaze one that I have had on my list. That one's called Mustard the Courage, but it was, let me go over here again. This is going to be as close as I'm going to get for obviously a fraction of the price. This was a dollar. I can't tell you guys an enough you definitely need to check this line out because these dollar polishes perform beautifully as i said what's on my nails right now has been on for five days and usually polish starts to chip or peel off on me and i don't have any of that it's crisp gorgeous like i just did it they are kind of growing out a little bit and looking a little bit i need to change it type thing but i just haven't had a chance to so it wears beautifully yes watch this and it's absolutely beautiful it's going to be about a two coater but for you know the quality is just fantastic. And then I picked these two new Ultra Shines up the other day. I went and thought I don't need any more, but I'm glad I waited to do this video because I wanted to include the new polishes. There's this color. This is in a Prey Ski. It is just a beautiful pale blue. When I saw this, I picked it up. Again, this one's a dollar as well as the Ultra Shine line. This is beautiful. I've seen it swatched in videos. I'll put links to who I've watched down below that shared this entire new launch collection. Definitely check out those swatches. And this is gorgeous. I can't wait to try this one. Then the last Ultra Shine I picked up is this like shimmery blue. This is in Midnight in Paris. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it. You can kind of see a little bit of the shimmer in it here. I haven't even swatched these. Um, so I don't know how this will look. 
One thing about these bottles is their brushes are very similar to the gel effect polishes. So they really did a good job at keeping those type of brush styles in these bottles. Each of these seems to have a very similar brush. So that is nice as well. And I love the packaging of these. They're just so sleek and so neat looking. So that is in that one there. The last three I have, I'm going to make this quick because this is turning into a long video. These are polishes from a Jet Setter line, which is a fast dry polish line. These are a little bit different packaging wise than what the Ultra Shines, there's the Ultra Shine and then the Jet Setter comes in like a more rectangle bottle and obviously, you know, the caps are a little bit different as you can see here. These come in 10 milliliters, I believe. Yes, 10 milliliters and 0.34 ounces, which is what these are in. So like I said, you do get a little bit less product, but these are only $2. So if you are looking for a fast dry polish and you don't want to spend Sally Hansen Insta Dry price, check into these. These are a fraction of the price of Sally Hansen and actually perform just as good. They, they are really nice. They're not quite as opaque as what the Insta Dries are, but in my opinion, two to three coats is no big deal when it comes to nail polish. So there's this one here. This is in the color Nighted and it's just a deep green. And it took about three coats to be opaque, but it's a beautiful cream polish and I can't recommend these enough. Then this one here, I haven't worn on my fingernails yet. I do have it on as a pedicure. This is in I Came to Dance. It's this gorgeous blue. This was about a three coater, actually. It was three coats. It is kind of streaky, but I'm like, you know what? For two bucks, let's not worry about that. It's a beautiful formula and it actually wears decent. It lasts really well on me. That's what this one looks like. It's a beautiful color, beautiful deep blue. It's deeper on the nails than it is in the bottle, but it's stunning. The last one I have is like a charcoal gray. This is in Concrete Jungle. I didn't need to pick this one up because I have one from Sally Hansen Insta Dry that's almost identical, so not sure why I gravitated towards this, but I did. It's just a standard deep gray. I have not tried this one yet. I will mention I was a little disappointed when I swatched these at how sheer they were, but again, they build up beautifully. You can apply two to three coats and they dry so quickly that sold me right there. I was like, okay, we can deal with three coats of polish because it dries in like 30 seconds. It's amazing. So anyway, for $2, you guys definitely need to check these out. They do have several other polish formulations out. There's like six different ones I think they came out with. They came out with these two that I showed you. There's a matte version, a chrome version, a jewel toned version, and a jelly version like a jelly formula i haven't tried those i'm not a big jelly polish kind of person so i probably won't be trying those but if you've tried any of these out please let me know what you thought your thoughts were and i think that's it everything will be linked down below hope you guys have a great week and we'll see you later